On 23rd of March 2007, a diverse crowd of intrepid, motivated and committed people gathered to begin an amazing adventure. After months of fundraising for a sustainable future for Israel, they were ready to begin the first ever Heshel Chazon hike Bishvil Israel. <laughs> Hi, this is Larry from Montclair, New Jersey. This has been an incredible experience, unbelievable hiking, meeting wonderful people, supporting the environment and learning about Heschel Institute for the Environment. I can't believe I've had the opportunity to do it. Over four days they walked 35 miles from near the northern border of Israel to Lake Kinneret. They were the first foreign group to do a multi-day hike on Shvil Israel, the Israel National Trail, a spectacular route which crisscrosses Israel from north to south. Nice. It's no good morning to all of you. After we hiked a bit, about 20, 30 minutes. And a bit of what we saw on the way. As you heard from Yoni, there are quite a few legends um, in the Mediterranean forest with lots of passion and love and hate and, and all kinds of... Melodrama. Uh, yes, yeah, melodrama. It's re a real soap opera here. You've already heard about the Talav, about a son killing his father and where the blood dropped, uh, a red tree grew. Aside from the stunning views, spring flowers and wildlife, they learned about connections between Judaism and the environment, and about sustainability and the serious challenges facing Israel. Having me as an Arab uh, environmentalist uh, w wasn't so easy for people uh, to understand. So it is a really, I think, a whole new era of understand, of different understanding of what do we mean when we say environment. But I'm just trying to show kind of what this kind of nature preservation versus development issues, particularly in the Arab sector and how sensitive it is. And I'm not even putting it in the larger question of the whole history of land in general in the Galilee. Hello. And I am on the Heschel Hazan hike here in the Upper Galil. Very happy to be here. Uh, I have not really hiked very much before, so this has been really a first time experience for me. And it's been wonderful. I'm here with my son, Yonatan, who's sitting right over there behind you. I am Yoni Cooper from South Orange, New Jersey, and I'm on the Heschel Hazan hike in northern Israel and I have had a great time so far learning about the environment in Israel and hiking. I'm Mira Le Goldsmith. I'm from New York City. Right now we're sitting in beautiful Nachal Amud in the middle of the most fantastic hike that I've ever been on in my life. I'm so happy to be here and to be supporting the incredible work of the Heschel Center for Environmental Learning and Leadership and Chazon. Had, I did it. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was. You proud? <laughs> what? Proud of yourself? Yes, I am. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> this special hike enabled the participants to learn about Chazon's work on the environment in the Jewish world and also to learn from activists and experts about what the Heschel Center is doing to create a sustainable future for Israel based on ecological health and social justice. So basically, what we're trying to do is mainstream environmental issues within local government, within local communities. And this one is a female because it's got a flag. 
flat bottom. I see. Ooh, so it's not a big daddy. What are you gonna do with it? We need to give him a name. Give him a name. Uh, no, no. I, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I saw a snake for the first time on the trail. We saw a turtle. We saw a rimon tree. We saw a fig tree. I. We heard about um, the local cities in Israel um, creating new sustainability committees. Um, I talked about how shoes are constructed. We talked about the relationship between density in Israel and the rest of the world. We have here the uh, Naomi Shemer School from Netanya, one of the leading schools in our Heschel Center Green Network program of environmental elementary schools, one of over a hundred schools like this around the country. <laughs> My name is Ella Carmen. Uh, people call me Zeke. I live in New Jersey. I work in New York. I found that the most interesting thing that I have found here among the beauty of the, the location and the hiking was the cooperation among each of the hikers and the staff. Because they see it as a valuable landscape resource, that they want those pastoral fields and they want people to be able to hike through them and appreciate them, and so there's a lot of boutique agriculture and things like that. On the last day, the group walked with a large variety of Heschel Fellows, leading professionals working throughout Israel for a sustainable future. To prevent illegal development and preserve public access to the coast of the Kinneret, the Heschel Chazon hike opened up a section of the new Kinneret circuit trail and was the first group to walk it. Uh, you can only imagine what was going on behind the scenes. And, uh, and you don't I, want to. <laughs> I don't think we really don't. But, um, but really, it has been just such a delightful, wonderful experience speaking on behalf of everybody, I think. Yeah. As we were ascending to uh, Har Meron and to Svat on that really difficult second day, I felt like finally I've made Aliyah. I have gone up to the land of Israel. I went to Israel and with me I took and learned <laughs> everything that everybody ahead of me has already said. And I want to thank everybody for being such good co-parents for my kids. We really had such a great time. It was because you all were so accepting and sharing. But I also liked pretending to be David. <laughs> it was kind of fun. So many different people was amazing, and just the awesome beauty of the different terrains that we visited was overpowering. I am Haley Moss. I liked getting to the top of Mount Aron because it's like, woof, I did it. And I liked spending time with my mom. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>